some of you will squeeze it. Pum, 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 that's three pumps. So recently, I've been posting videos on how to revamp your wigs, how to style your wig. And some people have been coming to ask me, this wig is just teaching us how to revamp, how to style. How do we maintain it? How do we maintain these expensive wigs we have gotten? I'll be telling you how to maintain your wigs. And this will not be all, it's just part one of the many videos you should be expecting on how to maintain your wigs. This video, I'll be sharing three tips. So like, share and subscribe so that you can see other videos when I post them. Now let's get right into the video. These three tips are valid for any kind of women hair wigs you have. That's why I didn't name it title for Only Pixie. It's for any kind of wigs you have. If you want a personal video for how to maintain your bobby score, let me know. I will give you these tips. Just let me type it in the comment section and I'll make that video. If you want me to tell you how to maintain your bone straight wig, let me know. But this one are general rules for all kinds of wigs. So the first on my list is when you're not wearing your wig, make sure to detangle and keep it properly. When you don't detangle your wig, after wearing the wig for a whole day, most time the back is tangled. Most time the hair, you know now, you roll it out, dust, everything, and then you just carry the hair like that. Some of you will squeeze it and throw it under the bed. Throw it inside the wardrobe. No. Detangle the hair. Even if it's coily hair, brush it out. Yes. Brush it out. If it's straight hair, perfect. Brush it out. Whatever kind of hair it is, um, bounce you, brush it, like make sure, tangle it. If it looks good and you know that you you can still put your hand through and everything is fine, no problem. But if you know that some places are looking, it gets you wanna be, detangle the hair and store it properly. Personally, I'm not a fan of like hanging wigs. I'll put a picture of what I mean on the screen. I'm not a fan of hanging wigs everywhere or wearing the wigs on the mannequin for days or wigs. As just put it on your wardrobe like the way some people actually do right now but also put a video of what i what i prefer to do i wear my hair on a mannequin she and wear a nylon on it i use this nylon i don't know if, if you can see some people call it dry cleaner nylon or the rest i use this nylon and cover my wig if i wear it on a mannequin or but if i'm not wearing it on a mannequin i still use this nylon even if i'm not wearing it on a mannequin i use this nylon or the other kind of bag you can use i'll put this in on the screen you put your wig inside and keep it safe. This will avoid dust and anything to be on the hair because just wearing this hair on the mannequin and just hanging it somewhere on your wardrobe, it attracts dust. That's the truth. If I'm going to wear it on the mannequin, I use this to cover it or use any other thing that can work to cover it or put it inside here and place it somewhere safe. Let me even show you. Now, see this. Um, this is a bob wig that has been styled. Thanks to the closure part, it has been styled and it has, it's kept like this. When I need, I open and wear my thing. If it's a long wig, same thing. It was really packed well. This is just like bringing it out. And, but this hair will still be in shape when I want to wear it. Like if I'm ready to wear this hair, it will still be in shape. And for everything I've applied on this hair, it will still be on the hair. You know when you hang it, the hair will not be dry. Because it's open to, like, it will be dry. That's just the truth. And when I, I will not start applying serum on dust, I really don't recommend that part. But detangle and keep it safe. If you have to wear your hair tomorrow, just bring it out and wear your thing. How about that? That's one of the ways to store your wig. Make sure you detangle and keep it well. Keep it well. So that you don't have to be straightening every now and then. If you just keep it like this, when you want to wear you bring it up and wear it. Not when you want to wear it now, you will start looking for a way to straighten it. If you're in some part of Nigeria where you have to wait till there's light, you know. So just keep it well. Detangle and keep it well. Brush, basically, and keep it well. So the second tip is wash and condition your wig at least after 10 years. That somehow is looking like it's not achievable, but it's achievable. Now, let me tell you something. This whole thing depends on how much you wear your wigs. If you work like a 9 to 5, you go to work every day and you're wearing this particular wig for one month, you need to wash it. The more you wear, the more you should wash. No, don't wash every time though. That's why it's not advisable to just have one wig. But the more you wash, the more you wear. The more you wear, <laughs> it should be the more you wash, okay? So if you have worn this wig for one month, wash it i have so many videos on washing wigs revamping wigs on my page you can check my page or you give it to a professional to wash it for you 
I revamp wigs in Nigeria. You can send your wigs down to me. I can revamp it for a fee. Link will be in the description. Link to send me a message will be in the description. Wearing dirty wig is the reason why your hair is not giving. Most of you will apply product on product on that hair. Now look at this hair now. I've applied a lot of product here. Like I pl applied wax. I applied got to be spray. What else? I applied a lot of product here. So now this part now is looking somehow. It's giving for now. But after now, I need to wash off those products and style it another way. Or I need just to wash off the product and style again. Or else, after a while, the hair will not be giving again. And it's not a good thing. To be honest, it's not a good thing. For bone stray wigs, you need to wash it as well. That's why most times you notice that the hair doesn't have movement anymore. Because the hair is dirty. Bouncy, you will call it. Call is looking at you like, oh God, it's not giving. And you're like, ah, this hair, this person so fake hair to me. No, most times you just need to revamp that hair. Wash it. Condition it. Wash with a sulfate free shampoo. Wash with a sulfate free shampoo. You can use the Tresemme shampoo, Mamiya. There are many products out there. Check out my videos. I have plenty of videos on how to revamp hair. It's like three or four right now on my page. So check them out on how to wash your hair. You really need to be washing your hair around there. For some people, because you are wearing pixie, they tell you spray water and conditioner. That is good. So you think by just spraying water, you're washing the hair. No, my love, you're not washing the hair like that. By just spraying water on the hair and combing. No, you really need to wash that hair. Get rid of the dirt. Get rid of the product on it. Okay, good. Now the last thing for this video is don't use heavy oil on your hairs. Every serum. Now, most of you now know that serum will help add shine to your hair and make your hair. You people will pour, pour, pour. Oh my God! Two pump, three pump is enough. Let's 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 even do demonstration. This is one of the hair serums I use. This is it. Pum, 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 pum. That's three pumps. It's enough. Rub together, apply it inside on top. Apply inside first before on top. I wish I can give you a demonstration, but if you watched my last video on how to style a bone straight wig, you understand what I'm saying. Three, boom, two steps is enough. Do two first. Apply on the inside first. Then do one, apply on top. Don't apply that first plenty one now on top. It will make your hair to be stiff. And make you require you to be washing your hair every time because of those too much products you have applied on it. Three pump of this is enough. We have other serums out there, heavier one than this one. This is actually a very heavy serum. That's why one or two pump is enough. There are some lighter ones though, like Ludas. I think Ludas. But this is actually a heavy serum, so I don't use so much. Just two, three pump is enough for the whole week. But some of you want to pour it so the hair will shine. The hair will shine and the hair will be stiff. So stop applying so much products on your hair, okay? These are one of the many ways to maintain your hair. Because applying many products, too much product will make you want to wash the wig every time. Washing the wig too much is also not good. I'll share three tips in this video and I'll be sharing more later. So like and subscribe now and turn on post notifications so that when I get to post all these videos, you will see them all. If you don't turn on post notifications, you will not see them. Turn on post notifications now. Have you turned it on? Good. So, we've come to the end of today's video. I hope these tips were helpful. If you have further questions, just put it in the comment section. You know, you could always do and I will respond to you. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And share this video so that your friend that you know owns a wig and is not taking care of it. Share this video to that person. Okay. Bye.